Welcome back to Online Permit Search. My name is Toby with Homestar Inspections. When reviewing a property located in Jupiter Inlet Colony, you first need to verify that the property is indeed located in the municipality of Jupiter Inlet Colony, uh, particularly if you're looking at the permit history. So go to Property Appraiser's website, which is located at pvcgov.org forward slash PAPA. Type in your address. My example today is going to be 49 Ocean Drive in Jupiter Colony. And on the property detail page, it will give you a lot of information. You'll see to the right here, there's a aerial view of the, of the roof of the property itself. And also on the left over here, you want to verify that the location address is indeed accurate for an Ocean Drive. That's good. The next line down is going to show you the municipality, Jupiter Inlet Colony which is also supported by the fact that the parcel control number begins with 3-2. So you know any parcel control number beginning with 3-2 should be Jupiter in that colony. Verifying that the property is indeed located in the municipality of Jupiter in that colony, you go to our website, which is located at homestarinspectionsfl.com. Click on permit search. Scroll down to Palm Beach County. All of the cities are going to be alphabetized. Find Jupiter Inlet Colony. There's a reminder here telling you that the parcel control begins with 32. Click here. All right, so it brings you to a third party website. This My Government Online is also utilized by Juno Beach, I believe. So it does require you to create an account, but it's very quick and easy. It's free. You can use just a silly uh, login password. It's, there's no, no sense of data on this website. You can have your computer remember it. Um, it's kind of what I did. And so the county is going to be United States. The state is Florida. Jurisdiction is scroll down and find your, see there's Geno Beach. Jupiter Inlet Colony, click on that. And the project type is going to be permit. All right, down here you want to put in your street number, which is 49 street name. Let's try Ocean Drive DR and click search. And two permits pull up. Let's take out the drive and see what happens, see if it pulls up more permits. No, the same two permits pull up. So either way, you can put the, uh, the suffix there or leave it blank. Um, it's always good to try it with both, see what happens. So the first permit here is from 2020. Uh, 11 13 2020 that is it's in the issued status which means that it might be open so if you're looking to put an uh, offer on this property there might be an open permit which you want to talk to the seller about uh, closing out because that could uh, suggest that there might be a mechanics lien on the property you can also uh, if you're going to list the property it's also good to utilize this website so you can help the seller close out this permit right away. And the description's down here. It says non-structural enclosed, enclosing round columns with square, replace driveway and sidewalk with other stone, change window to door and add pavers outside of door, replace concrete railing with metal. Okay, so some pretty basic stuff. Uh, shouldn't be that difficult of a permit to close out. Next permit down is from 2022. So that's a newer permit, uh, February 9th to be exact. Scroll down to description, tile to tile re-roof. All right, there's a re-roof permit. Installation of peel and stick, which is a great product. Underlayment and concrete tile with screw down system, foam to be used on hip and ridges only. Okay, great. So this roof is less than a year old. This house was, let's see the age of this property. Go back to the property appraiser's website, scroll down. And this year built was 2002. So that means that that roof only lasted 20 years. It is on the ocean, on the beach itself. So roofs, systems, AC units, they tend to have a shorter lifespan the closer you get to the salt air. But if this were inland, this roof should have 25 to 30 year life expectancy. So that's what you utilize this, this permit information for. You can find out what type of work has been permitted, if there's any open permits and how old the roof is. If you have any questions, you can contact us directly through our website up here or email me at toby at homestarinspectionsfl.com. Take care.